So today we're going to talk about Grant Delpit. But before I do, I want to give a big shout out to Cowboy X Factor. He's the one that pointed out this prospect to me, and I hadn't heard a lot about Grant Delpit. So kudos to you to pointing him out because he is a very interesting prospect and one of the best safeties in this class, if not the best safety in this class. All that being said, though, I want to encourage everybody to like, share, and subscribe. Because just because you're not a Giants fan doesn't mean you would not be interested in the prospect that I'm going to cover in these videos. But obviously, again, I'm not an extreme draft expert. I do my best to give you guys a little bit of information on each and every one of these draft prospects, and I hope you guys enjoy. But either way, a little background on Grant Delpit. He's the 2019 Jim Thorpe Award winner, and he's also first team All-SEC. So, a very good player, um, mocked in the top 20 and always on whoever's big board as far as rankings of prospects. So, very good safety, but with no further ado, let's get into the measurables on Grant Delpit. 203 school, I've obviously mentioned it before, 203 um, LSU, played in 40 games, so 13 in his freshman year, 13 in his sophomore year, and 14 in his junior year, obviously because of the national championship position, defensive back. Um, I view him more of a strong safety than a free safety, but some other people would probably question me on that and say, why do you have that? Again, it depends if you're really high on this guy or really low on this guy and where he falls. Right now, he's being mocked. He falls in the first round, usually uh, late teens, early 20s. I've seen him mocked on most mock drafts, but correct me if I'm wrong. Positives. Aggressive, plays downhill. Willing to sell out his body to make a tackle. Has good closing speed. Also, a lot of people want to say he's better in man coverage than he is in zone coverage. Uh, I don't see the fluid hips that you need to be very good in coverage, but he does. He has a tendency to kind of knock guys off their routes and be that bump and run guy you need if he's against the tight end. So that's encouraging there. Negatives. Tackling can be a question. I've saw I've seen a lot of whiffs on tape, and a lot of people like to highlight his 2018 tape where he's whiffed on a lot of tackles or takes poor angles if a guy is able to make it into the secondary. So tackling can be a little bit of a question, but it seems like he shored that up in 2019, but it remains to be seen. But again, that's why I put one of this as one of the negatives. The other negative I've seen is not strong in zone coverage. And that's a very big negative that he's not very strong in coverage. A lot of people say he doesn't trust his speed and his athleticism to stay on the spot or get to the spot that he needs to be on any given play when they call zone. But again, in college, it's usually easier defensive concepts and you know great athletic teams can make up for the lack of not being great in zone coverage because they are so good in man, like in LSU. So it's not surprising that a lot of these knocks on these deep defensive backs is they're not great in zone coverage because not a lot of college teams play exclusively zone. Comparison. Now, this is my personal comparison. I'll mention, which is Landon Collins, I view him as a better strong safety than a free safety, but I've seen comparisons of... Eric Berry, which I don't think Grant Delpit is as well-rounded as Eric Berry was calling it, coming out of college. And the other comparison I've seen is Jamal Adams of the Jets. I view him as a strong safety, better strong safety, so I view him more in the class of Landon Collins. Maybe you guys will take that as a little bit of a knock. I don't know. It remains to be seen. Either way, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Either way, it's been OGR Sports, and I will catch you on the next vid.